Oh, hello, welcome. Welcome to day 355 of our Bible in a Year Challenge. My name is Sandra. I'm going to be your host for today. Welcome. We are committed to reading our Bibles in a year, which is less than 20 minutes daily read time. Yes, you heard me right. Just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Please kindly go ahead right now. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook on instagram and on tiktok at sandra boyo Areleba. let's get started day 355 december 21st 2023 365 days bible reading old testament ezra 7 11 to 28 ezra 8 1 to 14 new testament revelation 13 1 to 18 Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 145, verse 14 to 21. Old Testament NIV version, Ezra 7, 11 to 28. King Artaxerxes' letter to Ezra. This is a copy of the letter King Artaxerxes had given to Ezra the priest, a teacher of the law, a man learned in matters concerning the commands and decrees of the Lord for Israel. Artaxerxes, king of kings, to Ezra the priest, teacher of the law of the God of heaven. Greetings. Now, I decree that any of the Israelites in my kingdom, including priests and Levites, who volunteer to go to Jerusalem with you, may go. You are sent by the king and his seven advisors to inquire about Judah and Jerusalem with regard to the law of your God, which is in your hand. Moreover, you are to take with you the silver and the gold that the king and his advisors had freely given to the God of Israel, whose dwelling is in Jerusalem. Together with all the silver and gold you may obtain from the province of Babylon, as well as the freewill offerings of the people, and priests of the temple of their God in Jerusalem. With this money, be sure to buy bulls, rams, and male lambs together with their grain offerings and drink offerings and sacrifice them on the altar of the temple of your God in Jerusalem. You and your fellow Israelites may then do whatever seems best with the rest of the silver and gold in accordance with the will of your God. Deliver to the God of Jerusalem, all the articles entrusted to you for worship in the temple of your God, and anything else needed for the temple of your God that you are responsible to supply, you may provide from the royal treasury. Now I, King Artaxerxes, decree that all the treasurers of Trans-Euphrates are to provide with diligence whatever Ezra the priest, the teacher of the law of the God of heaven, may ask of you, up to a hundred talents of silver, a hundred cores of wheat, a hundred baths of wine, a hundred baths of olive oil, and salt without limit. Whatever the God of heaven has prescribed, let it be done with diligence for the temple of the God of heaven. Why should his wrath fall on the realm of the king and of his sons you are also to know that you are you have no authority to impose taxes tribute or duty on any of the priests levites musicians gatekeepers temple servants or other workers at this house of god and you ezra in accordance with the wisdom of your god which you possess appoint magistrates and judges to minister justice to all the people of trans euphrates all who know the law of your god and you are to teach any who do not know them whoever does not obey the law of your god and the law of the king must surely be punished by death banishment confiscation of property or imprisonment praise be to the lord the god of our ancestors who has put it into the king's heart to bring honor to the house of the lord in jerusalem 
in this way and who has extended his good favor to me before the king and his advisors and all the king's powerful officials because the hand of the lord my god was on me i took courage and gathered leaders from israel to go up with me ezra 8 1 to 14 list of the family heads returning with ezra these are the family heads and those registered with them who came up with me from Babylon during the reign of King Artaxerxes, of the descendants of Phinehas, Gershom, of the descendants of Ithama, Daniel, of the descendants of David, Hattush, of the descendants of Shechaniah, of the descendants of Porash, Zechariah, and with him were registered 150 men, of the descendants of Pahat Moab, Eliehuenia, son of Zerahiah, and with him two hundred men, of the descendants of Zatu, Shekaniah, son of Jahaziel, and with him three hundred men, of the descendants of Adin, Ebed, son of Jonathan, and with him fifty men, of the descendants of Elam, Jeshiah, son of Athaliah, and with him seventy men, of the descendants of Shephatiah, Zebadiah, son of Mich Michael, and with him eighty men of the descendants of Joab, Obadiah, son of Jael, and with him two hundred and eighteen men of the descendants of Bani, Shilomite, son of Jesiphia, and with him hundred and sixty men of the descendants of Bebai, Zechariah, son of Bebai, and with him twenty eight men of the descendants of Asgad. Johanan, son of Hakatan, and with him 210 men of the descendants of Adonikam, the last ones whose names were Eliphelet, Jael, and Shemaiah, and with them 60 men of the descendants of Bigvai, Uthai, and Zakur, and with them 70 men. New Testament NIV Version Revelation 13, 1-18 the beast out of the sea the dragon stood on the shore of the sea and i saw a beast coming out of the sea it had ten horns and seven heads with ten crowns on its horns and on each head a blasphemous name the beast i saw resembled a leopard but had feet like those of a bear and a mouth like that of a lion the dragon gave the beast his power and his throne and great authority one of the heads of the beast seemed to have had a fatal wound but the fatal wound had been healed the whole world was filled with wonder and followed the beast people worshipped the dragon because he had given authority to the beast and they also worshipped the beast and asked who is like the beast who can wage war against it the beast was given a mouth to utter proud words and blasphemies and to exercise its authority for 42 months it opened its mouth to blaspheme god and to slander his name and his dwelling place and those who live in heaven it was given power to wage war against god's holy people and to conquer them and it was given authority over every tribe, people, language, and nation. All inhabitants of the earth will worship the beast, all whose names have not been written in the Lamb's book of life, the Lamb who was slain from the creation of the world. Whoever has ears, let them hear. If anyone is to go into captivity, into captivity they will go. If anyone is to be killed with the sword, with the sword they will be killed. This calls for patient endurance and faithfulness on the part of God's people. The beast out of the earth. Then I saw a second beast coming out of the earth. It had two horns like a lamb, but it spoke like a dragon. It exercised all the authority of the first beast on its behalf and made the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast, whose fatal wound had been healed and it performed great signs even causing fire to come down from heaven to the earth in full view of the people because of the signs it was given power to perform on behalf of the first beast it deceived the inhabitants of the earth it ordered them to set up an image in honor of the beast 
who was wounded by the sword and yet lived. The second beast was given power to give breath to the image of the first beast, so that the image could speak and cause all who refused to worship the image be killed. It also forced all people, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads, so that they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark which is the name of the beast or the number of its name. This calls for wisdom. Let the person who has insights calculate the number of the beast for it is the number of a human. That number is 666. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 145, verse 14 to 21. The Lord upholds all who fall and lifts up all who are bowed down eyes of all look to you and you give them their food at the proper time you open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing the lord is righteous in all his ways and faithful in all he does the lord is near to all who call on him to all who call on him in truth he fulfills the desires of those who fear him he hears that cry and saves them the Lord watches over all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak in praise of the Lord. Let every creature praise his holy name forever and ever. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Please, if you're here and you would like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, kindly repeat this prayer after me, believing in your heart every single word you say. Lord Jesus. I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations if you said this prayer. We are so excited to welcome you into God's family. Kindly you go ahead right now? Send us an email. Let us know you gave your heart to Christ. Someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new walk of faith. The email address is salvationinchrist101 at gmail.com. That is salvationinchrist101 at gmail.com. God bless you. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Areleba. Thank you so much for being here again today. It's always a pleasure having you here. I look forward to another amazing day with you tomorrow. Have a blessed day today. I love you. <music>